For the last year and a half, I've been an Emacs user. I've been a happy Emacs user, and I'm not really looking to go back to Vim. But I do keep up to date with some of the development and the things that go on with Vim and especially with NeoVim. And one of the cool things about NeoVim is there is a lot of graphical front ends to NeoVim. People are writing GUI clients for NeoVim. And one of the ones that I've heard about here recently and I wanted to take a look on camera today is NeoVide, which is a graphical NeoVim client written in Rust. Now, NeoVide is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows, just like NeoVim is available on Linux, Mac, and Windows. You can run NeoVide on all the operating systems. The source code is hosted over on GitHub. You could build it yourself. For those of you that are running Arch or an Arch-based system, you can find NeoVide in the Arch user repositories. They also have installation instructions for those of you running Debian or Ubuntu-based instructions here on the GitHub page. NeoVide, of course, is free and open source software. It's licensed under the MIT license, and their GitHub page is really nice because instead of just having screenshots, they actually have animated GIFs displaying some of what NeoVide can do. And the main thing that NeoVide provides is these cool animation effects, especially when your cursor is moving. So that is the big thing it provides. The other big thing it provides is smooth scrolling. Now let me switch to my desktop and let me launch NeoVide. I'm going to launch my Bash RC here in NeoVide. And the two big claims to fame with NeoVide, the, the neat things it provides that, you know, standard NeoVim in the terminal does not provide is the cursor animation. So if I'm just moving down, you really can't tell when I'm making small movements, but let's say I make a big jump. I'm on line 24 right now. What if I go to the first line? You see the, the really neat animation. You can tell exactly where that cursor jumps to because it had that almost sliding effect where... In standard Vim or standard Neo Vim, that cursor jump is immediate, and un unless you really are drawn, you're not your eye's not really drawn to where that cursor is moving a lot of times. Sometimes the cursor can get lost. So these animations, although they are for effect, right? They add a little bling to your Neo Vim. They actually do serve a purpose. Let me move down 10 lines. Let me move down 10 lines again. Let me move back up. Of course, I can, you know, click with the mouse and move my cursor and it's really neat I, like it follows you around everywhere if I wanted to select some text you know when I'm selecting text the cursor is just jumping around now the other big thing was the smooth scrolling and I'm scrolling with the mouse wheel right now and that is very smooth scrolling right there's no jitters no jumps I mean it's just smooth as butter I would almost switch to NeoVide from regular NeoVim just for that smooth scrolling effect I'm not even kidding now, how do you configure NeoVide? Well, NeoVide, remember, is just a graphical front end to NeoVim itself. So NeoVide just reads your NeoVim config, your init.vim that should be in your home directory slash dot config slash nvim. That's the file that controls NeoVide as well. So let's open up my NeoVim config. So let me go ahead and I'm going to do colon E for edit. And I'm going to go to my home directory dot config slash nvim and then init dot vim. So this is my NeoVim config. And because I had never used a graphical client for NeoVim or Vim for that matter, because all the graphical clients for Vim, such as GVim, suck really bad. You know, I've always just been a terminal Vim user. So in my config, I didn't have any settings for GUI clients and you have to have settings for GUI clients. Otherwise, you, you know, this thing will not be configed in any way. For example, this is my color scheme. This is basically the Doom Emacs color scheme, the Doom 1 color scheme that Doom Emacs uses. I had implemented that into my terminal and into my NeoVim config. But the problem is I didn't have these lines here, like GUI foreground, GUI background. I had C-term foreground and C-term background for the terminal-based NeoVim, but I never bothered adding GUI colors for anything because I never planned on using a GUI front end. So I had to go in here. I had to spend a little time in this config <laughs> to set all my colors to match what was going on in the terminal version of NeoVim. So I needed to add that. There was also some other settings. Uh, you may need to add some mouse settings if you want to be able to grab text like I'm doing here with the mouse make sure you have set mouse equals a is what I'm using for that setting also you need to set GUI options for your GUI font if you don't have a GUI font set 
then it's just going to default to your standard system font, your standard system monospace font. Because most people, unless you have ever used a GUI Vim or GUI NeoVim client, you've never set a GUI font. Because your fonts are set, of course, by the terminal emulator, what the font is set in that. So you are going to go have to add that line there. I set mine to Source Code Pro, which is an open sourced version of Source Code Pro. And this wasn't hard. I mean, I had to spend, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe adding some of the various GUI options and the GUI uh, color options and things to my config. But now that I've got that done, I mean, everything, everything works fine. I could actually use NeoVide and be happy with it. Like I could strictly be a NeoVide user. Now, there are a couple of things that do bug me a little bit with NeoVide. One of them is, even though the GitHub page talks about it can display colored emojis. Again, I, I, it seems to be broken here on Arco Linux. Maybe it's broken on all Arch-based systems, but it doesn't matter what I set the font to. Even if I set my font, which right now is Sauce Code Pro, if I set that to Joy Pixels or Noto Color Emoji or any kind of colored emoji font, then the, the, these fonts wouldn't even display regular character text characters. All they do is display emojis. Uh, I still can't get emojis to render. So I have this file here on my system, emoji.txt. Let me cat it out here in the Alacrity terminal. Alacrity doesn't handle colored emojis that well, but it does display them as these little uh, black and white Unicode glyphs here, which is fine. That is still better than the way NeoVide handles that because uh, that is that same file. And, you know, each one of these headings, there's a line of emojis up under it. But, you know, none of the emojis display, not a single one. And again, that's displayed with Source Code Pro, which probably wouldn't display them anyway. But it really doesn't matter what font I've set that to. I've set it to a dozen different fonts, many of them, again, strictly emoji fonts. And it's still doesn't render emojis at all. One other minor gripe, it's not a gripe to me because I don't really like transparency, but for those of you that like transparency, in your terminal-based NeoVim, transparency is great because most of your terminals allow you to set the background of the terminal to be transparent, which is uh, really nice. But here in NeoVide, what you have to do is set the entire uh, NeoVide window as transparent and that's 95 percent transparency there or opacity there and you know it just bleeds through a little bit and i've got it set to such you know, some, such minor transparency just very minor transparency because if i set it too light the it, the text is actually transparent like everything in the window even the status bar is transparent so it's completely different than NeoVim in the terminal, which just the background itself is transparent, but the bar and the text and all of that is not transparent at all. And so you really can have some readability problems with windows like this that don't have, you know, standard transparency. They basically make the entire window transparent. So I personally wouldn't use transparency in NeoVide since it doesn't have true transparency. It's the same reason I don't do transparency in Emacs. Emacs is the same way. If I set transparency in Emacs, the entire Emacs window is transparent, including the text, and it just causes problems with readability. But those are minor gripes. Uh, for me, I would be just fine with uh, NeoVide, how it is. I mean, it uses all of my NeoVim key bindings. It's, again, it's using the NeoVim config, and you can see the cursor move around when I move around the splits. Let me open up another vertical split, and if I you know, move to that split and then move to that split. You know, it really does have some nice animation effects. I've got to give it that. And by the way, the cursor effects, there are different cursor effects. You have, uh, well, here's an animated GIF. You have this one where you get a little trail of characters following the... <laughs> the cursor and that one's called the rail gun effect they've got a, a, like a dozen different cursor effects that you can choose from let me see if i can uh, show you some of these so let me get back to the desktop here and let me close one of these splits here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get into command mode i'm going to do a colon and then let g colon neovide underscore cursor underscore vfx underscore mode well that's a lot to type and then equals and let's try the rail gun effect so that this is the rail gun and you see i've got little bubbles appearing outside the uh the cursor when i move so that's really neat 
looking back at some of the documentation, some of the other cursor effects, torpedo, pixie dust. Let me see if I can get those to work as well. So uh, I'm just going to get back into command mode. Let's up arrow to get that last command and let's change to torpedo and see. Yeah. Oh, right. That's kind of like the last effect, except it's like on steroids now. It moves quicker and a lot more bubbles trailing it. Let me do the colon again and go back up and let's try pixie dust. Just trying one more cursor effect here and let's see what that does. Okay, and then you get some dots, some trailing dots, but they're very minor. So this is much more minimal. So <laughs> if you like less bloat with your animations, pixie dust might be the one. So that's just a very quick look at NeoVide, a graphical NeoVim client written in Rust, and I, I think it's cool. It's got a couple of niggles, you know, for those of you that want true transparency and colored emoji support. They're kind of iffy right now, but for me, I don't need them. I just need a working text editor, and as a NeoVim text editor, it works 100%. As a matter of fact, it works 100%, and it provides a couple of things that Honestly, I really love. I love the cursor animations. Visually, when you're jumping large amounts of distance with your cursor, the animations really do help. And I love the smooth scrolling. The smooth scrolling for me, because I, I do a lot with the mouse wheel, that would make me... Uh, you know what? I'm probably not going to uninstall NeoVide from my system. What I think I might do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it on my system. I'm going to go ahead and alias Vim on my computer to actually just run NeoVide. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I'm talking about Absy Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Archie, Trey, 30, Chuck, David, the other, David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Scott, Stephen, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of this show. They are my highest-tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, you wouldn't know about NeoVide. You wouldn't know about it. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All of these names you're seeing on the screen right now, each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen help support my work over on Patreon because the DistroTube channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you want to help me out, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. We need a NeoVim front end written in Haskell.